Hey everyone, it's Mark and I'm back again to tell you more about building better chat fuel chatbots using the JSON API and a little bit of coding. Today we're going to talk about time and dates. So chat fuel doesn't give you any functionality to get a user's time and date. So we have to build that ourselves. So we're going to build a little set of functions and a little API that we can call uh, and tell what the current user's uh, time and date is. So you can use that for things like you could uh, tell the user that your shop's open or closed. You could differentiate your responses based upon time. So example would be you could give a breakfast menu rather than a dinner menu. So the big thing when you're thinking about times and dates is time zones because we all live in different time zones across the world. So Facebook Messenger and also ChatFuel gives you the ability to pass that through. So we need to use that in order to determine the local time uh, and the local date for anyone that talks to our chatbot. So let's get started. Now today I'm using glitch.com as I always do and I'm going to add some extra functionality to my chat fuel demo bot. So the first thing we're going to do is add a set of new API routes. So we're going to add const time date routes and we're going to pull these in from a routes folder called time date and then we need to tell express that we want to use these so app.use and we'll call it time date and we'll pass those routes through so time date routes okay so let's create a new file to add our routes into so do a new file and we call it routes slash time date dot js okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to add our express router and we need to pull the routes from express and we need to export them. Okay, so let's build our route. So router.get, and we need a function here with our request and our response, as we always do with the middleware and express. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the time zone. We're going to pass the time zone in from the user. So we're going to do const time zone equals request query so the query parameter is going to send by get request we're going to look for a time zone query parameter and we're going to pull that out so because we may not pass it through or someone might not have one we'll just default this to zero just in case anyone ever calls it without so what we'll do is we'll assume we're at what we call utc now utc is coordinated universal time which is a little bit confusing because the acronym is UTC but apparently it was uh, some difference between English speakers and French speakers and they came up with a CUT and TUC so they uh, agreed on the compromise which was UTC which does stand for coordinated universal time so this is a time that represents uh, the time zones across the world so UTC is a standard time which starts at zero and is adjusted based upon the time zones of the world it's the equivalent to where I live which is Greenwich Mean Time GMT although it's not strictly speaking the same thing and it it increments as we go east as we go sort of into Europe uh, across to Russia and India etc and then it um, becomes a minus number as we go west as we head towards from England as we head over to the, the United States and across all their time zones so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the users date uh, their time and date um, including their time zone so I'm going to write a little function to do this so say const uh, date and we'll call it user date in time zone equals get user date in time zone. I'm going to pass through that time zone. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to um, from that user date in time zone, we're going to uh, take the attributes from it and we're going to pass them back to um, to chat fuel and set them as user attributes. So eventually we'll do this with response.json and we'll do some uh, user attributes. Yeah. That's what we'll do. And here, we'll just for now, we'll fill this in in a minute. We'll set up our user attributes equals. And if you remember, we do set attributes and then some set of attributes there. Okay. So let's write this function now. So const get user date in time zone. Um, that's a function. We're going to pass through a time zone and we're going to return some uh, user uh, date back. Now, JavaScript or Node has uh, its own sort of date and time functions. Um, so we can use something called date. 
So the first thing we need to do is get the uh, the the UTC time uh, where we are right at this very moment in time. Okay, so we're going to do const UTC uh, date equals, and we can do date dot now. Okay, and this is going to give us the uh, the date right now. But obviously, the user is in a different time zone to us, and we want to know what their what their time and, and uh, date is, because it might be it might they might be past midnight, so they'll be in the next day. Uh, or they might just be like an hour ahead of us and it might be before midnight. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out what the offset is because um, the UTC date it becomes a timestamp which is in milliseconds. So we're going to calculate a difference in milliseconds. So the first thing we've got is um, what is one hour because we're going to use the time zones in hours. Uh, we're going to do what is one hour in milliseconds. So we do const one hour in milliseconds so that would be 60 seconds times 60 minutes is an hour times by milliseconds so that's one two three thousand so that that is our one hour in milliseconds okay so we can calculate what the offset is of the time zone in milliseconds because we're going to add it on to our current timestamp now our, our date and time now to so do const offset uh, in milliseconds equals one hour in milliseconds. I'm going to times that by the offset that we've just passed on. So we call it time zone. In fact, what we should probably do is we should probably rename this now. Let's rename this to something sensible. So we're going to do offset in hours. Yeah, because that's what it is. The time zone is just the offset in hours. Okay. And so the time zone is just there. We're going to pass it through and it becomes like the offset in hours because that's what actually what it is. So the last thing we need to do is we can we can add the current uh, date timestamp plus our offset, which may be in the future or behind us. Um, so let's do return new date, and we'll create a new date. What we'll take is our UTC date, which is our current timestamp for now. And we're going to add on our offset in milliseconds. Brilliant. Okay. So at the moment we've got our user date uh, user date in time zone. So we could pass this back. And we'll do user date in time zone. Okay, so let's test this. Let's preview next to the code. And remember before we called it time date and we don't have any other route there. So let's change the URL to time date. And there we go. Okay, so that's given us our user date based upon, we're not passing anything through, we're not passing any query prompts at the moment. So for me, the time now, I don't know if you can see that is 1954. Uh, on the 10th of February 2020. This is what's uh, known as an ISO date. Um, okay, and if we pass through, let's just change the URL out, let's pass through a time zone of uh, one. This changes it to uh, 2054, uh, and it's actually 1954, so that's in the future. And then say we're over in uh, sort of New York, it's minus five, check that out. It would be 14.55. Cool. So it is right, but we probably want to split this up into sort of um, day, month, year, um, hour, second, etc. So let's change our data to pull all of those attributes out. So we'll create an object here called date object. There we go. And then we're going to pull out the day, the month, the year, etc. Okay. So the day will be user date in time zone. I'm going to get something called get date, and that's going to get us the day. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, so we can see it on the right-hand side as we update, is I'm going to return this date object instead. Okay, so instead of this data here, I'm just going to return my date object. Okay, so let's have a look. So day ten. So today is the tenth of February. So that's right. Okay, cool. So next thing is we need the month. So user date in time zone dot get month. Now you're going to see something funny here. So the month is going to appear when it refreshes. The month is one and we're actually in February. So the thing about the month is it, it's, it's a zero index as we do in computer programming land. It starts at zero, so we need to add one to it. So it's the, the correct month. So it's month two. There we go. Excellent. So a few more. We can pull out the year. User date in time zone dot get full year if we want. So that's going to give us it refreshes 2020 
if you wanted to you can just get year which would give you 20 but i think probably because we've gone over millennium you probably need to know that it's 2020 as opposed to 1920. okay so we then we want to get hours which is user date and time zone dot get hours and minutes which is user date and time zone dot get minutes and then seconds which is user date in time zone oops dot get seconds those are all functions there and as you can see on the side it's all working out now so we've got day 10 month to year 2020 hours 14 oh so my time i've still got my time zone on there so let's just change the url take the time zone off that there we go hours 19 minutes 58 seconds 54 so that's uh, that's right 1958 there uh, 59 now so let's refresh it there you go 59 and the last thing we can do is we can do something called an iso uh time which is there is a standard called um a standard called ISO 8601, which is like a standard format for dates and times. And um, you can see it there. It's uh, the year, dash month, dash uh, day, um, time zone, um, uh, the time, and there is a time zone offset if you want to do a time zone offset, uh, which we haven't got here. But basically, that should be all we need. So let's pull this into Chat Fuel. Okay, so in my Chat Fuel demo bot. I'm going to create a time and date group and this time and date block here. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to the JSON API and we're going to call my API. Okay, so let's pull the, the URL there. So chatfuel.glitch.me slash time date. We do make a get request to that slash time date. I'm going to test the request check the works yep all of our attributes are going to be sent back to us fantastic and um, the other thing we can do is we can send through if we want to the time zone so the user has a time zone um, I think it's called time zone there I think it's the user time zone so once we got that data back we could do many things as we said at the start of the video so let's just give a different response depending on whether it's uh, morning afternoon or evening Okay, so for this, we're going to use our redirect to. So we're going to check if the hour is like the morning, is it the afternoon, is it the evening, something like that. So let's put our redirect to block and let's do it to specific users. I'm going to check this attribute that we've just sent here. So we're going to check our hours. Okay, so let's say if the attribute hours, yeah. Uh, what should we do is greater than so what do we class as the evening okay let's have a think uh, let's do a if it's greater than uh, 6 p.m. so which is 18 yeah then we can do to a new block let's just add some new blocks here so let's do a so we'll do time dot morning and we'll say good morning Good morning, there we go. And then let's do a time dot afternoon. And we can say good afternoon. First name. And finally, a time dot evening. There we go. So let's de redirect to each different block depending on the time. So if the hours is greater than 18, let's go to time.evening. Otherwise, let's have another redirect. If hours is greater than 12, so it's the midday. And we can go to time dot afternoon, and finally, okay, attribute hours greater than six six a.m. Then we go uh, time dot morning, 
So let's test this block now. Let's add a link. There you go. Time.test. We'll copy that URL and we're done. And let's test it. So it said there, good evening, Mark. So let's change this in our, in our time zone here. So it's evening for me. So we change the time zone to minus seven. That should hopefully give us a test request. That gives us an hours of 13, so that should be the afternoon. So let's test again. You can see that there, good afternoon, Mark. Finally, let's test the morning. So let's go to Hawaii, which I think is minus 11 for me. That should give us a mid morning, uh, where are we? Hours, yeah, nine o'clock. So that'd be great. Try this one more time. And there you go, good morning, Mark. So we've written a really simple, uh, simple API there just to uh, transform the date from the, the user's date. So use this, hope it really helps you and uh, check back soon for another video. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about ChatFuel and the JSON API, I've got a free guide that you can download. I'll put the link down below now and in the description. Click on it and get your free guide completely free and lots of useful information about JSON and the API. Right, see you next time.